in today's video I will cover everything you need to know on using camera profiles in Luminar Neo. I will show you where to find them, how to adjust them and also how to get additional profiles for your own camera. Ok, now to start with, let me explain you the camera profiles in a simple terms. These profiles help in interpreting the color accurately from the raw data of the specific cameras, resulting in a real-world color reproduction. Additionally, camera profiles can also be used to add particular look or feel to your images. Now, just to make sure, let me also explain you what are the lens profiles. These profiles are preset corrections designed for specific lenses and cameras that automatically adjust for distortion, vignetting, chromatic aberration and other optical flaws. The main difference between camera and lens profiles is that the camera profiles correct color while lens profiles correct distortions and aberration. However, Luminar Neo does not have a feature for lens profiles at the moment, therefore today we will focus on the camera profiles. So the first thing we are gonna do is to look at where we can adjust the camera profile. For this we need to be in the edit module and we are gonna need the develop raw tool. Now, as you see the name, it says RAW and that means that it's only available for RAW files. Let me go back into the catalog, select JPEG file and when we bring it into edit module, we don't have access to the develop RAW. So when we open the regular develop tool, it's missing the camera option here. So let's just close this, return into catalog, we're gonna select the RAW file and again you can see that it's RAW file by looking at the information panel where there is the little RAW in the orange box. So we have the RAW file selected and now when we bring it into edit module we have access to the RAW tools like noiseless RAW and the develop RAW. But for our camera profiles we focusing on the develop RAW. When we open it this is where the camera profile is on the top. If for some reason you are editing RAW file and you can't see the develop RAW tool or the noiseless RAW tool or both of them, the possibility is that you have already applied some adjustments to your image. So for example, I use the enhanced AI and the moment I do that, I lose the access to these tools. And the reason is that once I develop the RAW tool and start to apply other adjustments, we lose the access to all the data and we start to work with the file which is still high quality but not raw file anymore. So if you can't see the raw tools here, what you can do is to go to the top of your editing toolbar, select the edits and here at the bottom you will see the raw edit section where you can again open the develop raw tool and edit the camera profile from here. But for now, Let's return into the tools and then reset the image so we can continue. So now we know where to find the camera profiles, so let me show you how to use them. For this we need to go back into the main editing toolbar, again open the develop pro tool and we are gonna be focusing on the camera profile section. If you can't see the tab, simply click on it to open it and inside there is one simple grey drop down box. So let's just click on it to open it and here you will or may not going to see a list of different camera profiles. However, the one you definitely going to see is the Luminar default as that's the default camera profile that is assigned to all new RAW files when they imported into Luminar Neo. So you all going to have the Luminar default on the top. After that we have a different sections, but first let's talk about how to select different camera profiles. 
Well, all you need to do is to hover over the different profiles. And as you can see, they will automatically show you a preview on the image. So when I hover through, for example, the camera landscape looks quite good, but I can go through without the need of clicking on them. I can just hover over and see the preview. So for me, I like the camera landscape. So I would just click on it, select it, and then continue with the edit. So it's as simple as that. You open the develop pro tool, open the camera profile section and select your camera profile from the available list. Now let's come back and talk about the different sections. On the top, we have the custom profiles. Those are profiles that you may find on internet or you created yourselves and you basically import them in the application using the two options at the bottom, add custom DCP, digital camera profile or add digital camera profile from DNG, DNG raw file. So these are your own custom profiles that you have imported yourself. As you can see, I have two examples here. Those are profiles I use for color grading of the infrared images, and they are specific for this type of Fujifilm camera. So when I hover over them, you can see the adjustments. Now they don't work on the regular picture, but I really like to use them on the infrared photos. There are quite lots of different camera profiles available online. So I suggest you to go ahead and search for them. Now, moving back to the external profiles, those are profiles that are on your computer from other photo editing application. This can be Photoshop, Lightroom, DNG converter, or other similar application. And these applications basically share a folder with the camera profiles and Luminar Neo goes there and takes these profiles and use them in the application. Now, if you don't see those profiles, there are maybe two reasons. A, the raw file you are editing is coming from a camera that doesn't have any other camera profiles available. B, you don't have any of this additional software on your computer means that you don't have access to these external profiles. Now I can't do anything about the first case. If there are no other profiles, you can try to contact the manufacturer of the camera or see if there are some available around the internet. However, for the second case, I have a free solution that will help you to add additional external profiles to your computer with one simple installation. Now, just before we going to continue, a quick reminder about our best-selling Luminar Neo Power Bundle. Right now, just for $39, you can get over 986 new elements to power up your favorite Luminar Neo tools. You will get an incredible high-definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, working layers, LUTs, and presets to really transform your images with only few clicks. Now to get the best possible price, you can follow the link in the description of this video, or you can find out more about it on our website, cleverphotographer.com. So to get access to additional camera profiles for Luminar Neo, we need to install a free application called Adobe DNG Converter. So you can follow the link in the description of the video to get it, or you can simply Google DNG Converter. Once you do that, you should see the converter on the top of your screen. So click on it, open the website, and once you're going to be there, simply select the system you are using. The application is available for Mac and Windows. So simply click on one of the options, download it, and install it. You don't even have to open the application. All you need to do is to install it. Once you install it, close Luminar Neo, reopen it, and then when you return into the Camera Profiles option in the Develop row, you will have the additional camera profiles available for your photos. Just remember, it will depend on the camera and the raw file to see which of the camera profiles will be available. And that's it for today. If you have any questions about today's tutorial 
or Luminar Neo in overall, then make sure that you write them in the comment section under this video. If you did enjoy today's tutorial, then please go ahead and like and share it. And also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our future content. For today, thank you very much for watching and I already can't wait to see you in the next video.